From frogs to snakes and spiders, all the way to a tarantula killing worm. Buckle up for all these creepy crawlies as we cover part two of the top 10 newly discovered species that are terrifying to scientists. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the bandy bandy snake. Back in 2018, scientists were returning from a sea snake research mission in Queensland, Australia, when they found a brand new species of snake. Of course, this being Australia, land of things that can kill you, this one was venomous. This new species the species of bandy bandy snake was a startling discovery because bandy bandy is a burrowing snake, so those who found it were pretty surprised to have found it on a concrete block near the sea. It turns out this discovery almost didn't happen as well, as it was realized that this snake had come to that location after slithering over from a pile of rubble that was waiting to be loaded onto a ship. This snake is said to have been visually and genetically different from the other five known species of bandy bandy snakes that live on the continent. And our number 9 spot today we have the reticulated Siren. Florida is the land of the weird, and this creature certainly is no exception. Scientists back in 2018 found this new species of legless salamander that looks kind of like a salamander kind of like a snake with gills and kind of like a leopard. This species is said to be among the largest found in the United States in the last century, so it is no doubt that this is quite the find. Researchers said that the creature is completely aquatic and has a long eel-like body, two forelimbs, no eyelids, gills, and a horny beak and a spotted pattern on its skin. What's funny is that, while unknown to science, this creature was locally known and it was referred to as a leopard eel. Scientists, while they appreciated the name, thought that they should change it to something more formal since this animal is neither leopard nor eel. In our number 8 spot today we have the brittle star. This is a species that was found in 2011, but it took 10 years for it to be researched and fully classified, which happened just last year in 2021. This is a species of brittle star that was found during an expedition on the Banc Durand Seamount, which is off of the coast of New Caledonia in the Pacific Ocean. This specific brittle star first caught the attention of experts because of two atypical features features. One was that it had eight arms, this was unusual because most have five, and the other unusual feature is their eight sets of razor sharp teeth. It is believed that these teeth, which line every jaw, are used to snare and shred their prey. This creature definitely is quite remarkable and is the product of millions of years of evolution, but it is likely the last survivor of an ancient lineage which dates back to the Jurassic period. In our number seven spot today we have the zombie frog. This is a type of frog that was first described described just last year in 2021. They can be found in French Guiana and they are nocturnal creatures as well as being ones that primarily live underground. This is exactly what made their discovery so difficult. The frogs thankfully have a unique call sound which is what allowed researchers to dig through the mud in the middle of the night in order to uncover these elusive creatures. Despite their scary common name, these frogs are not part of the undead. Their name actually comes from what the scientists said they all looked and felt like after digging through the mud all night trying to find these dang frogs. While these frogs and their populations need much more examination and research, it is currently thought that they might unfortunately be endangered. In our number 6 spot today we have the sheet weaver spider. Until recently, these little spiders lived their lives deep inside a cave in Indiana, completely unbeknownst to science. These guys were described in 2018 and they are quite small at only about 2 millimeters long. They are like a sort of dusty yellow or tan color and they are said to have have black circles around their eyes. They are best known for their sheet web skills, which are these intricate, flat, tightly woven horizontal webs. The scientific names of these spiders was inspired by Dr. Julian Lewis, who is said to have assisted greatly in the discovery of this new spider species. It is said that this discovery marks the 15th species in the genus and the fifth known to live their lives only in caves. In our number five spot today, we have Jonah's mouse lemur. Mouse lemurs are, of course, a group of lemurs who are shy nocturnal primates. These animals are usually found in Madagascar and are the smallest group of known primates in the world, usually growing to around the size of a human fist. Back in 2020, scientists were able to discover a new kind of mouse lemur, which is now being called Jonah's mouse lemur. They were able to distinguish this new species from the others by using genomic data and mitochondrial DNA, as well as just its general appearance. These new ones are slightly bigger than average and they have a reddish brown body with white stripes on their nose, 
thick fur and small little ears. So far we have only found Jonas Mouse lemurs in a small lowland rainforest in northeast Madagascar. Unfortunately with their discovery comes the realization that they are also endangered, which is actually the case for all lemurs, mouse or otherwise. The main threats to their life come from the deforestation currently happening within Madagascar and their natural habitats. In our number 4 spot today we have the forest bumblebee. These little guys were found by researchers from Sweden in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. The reason they hadn't been previously discovered is because they look identical to another species of bumblebee that had already been discovered, but through genome sequences we were able to finally realize that there is a distinguishable difference. This discovery has led researchers to believe that there may be even more undiscovered species of bumblebees than previously thought, as well as the fact that the warming of colder regions might be prompting the birth of new species. This is super cool because of course evolution is a thing that takes a lot of time, but it truly is happening all around us all of the time. Because this discovery came just last year, more research will soon be conducted to see just how many species of bumblebees we've been misidentifying. Maybe we're really close to learning about even more new ones. In our number 3 spot today we have the Central African Slender Snouted Crocodile. This is a species that was discovered quite a while ago, but it wasn't until just a few years ago that it was realized to be its own species. After two main studies into this species, one in 2014 and one in 2018, this this medium sized freshwater species was classified to be the Central African Slender Snouted Crocodile. These guys can be found from Cameroon to Tanzania, but their discovery came with some bad news. Crocodile expert Matthew Shirley said, quote, Recognizing the Slender Snouted Crocodile as actually comprised of two different species is cause for great conservation concern. He went on to say, quote, We estimate only 10% of Slender Snouted Crocodiles occur in West Africa, effectively diminishing its population by 90%. This makes the West African Slender Snouted Crocodile one of the most critically endangered crocodile species in the world. While crocodiles are a bit of a scary creature themselves, nothing compares to the news of a newly discovered species being found and at the same time being known to be endangered. In our number 2 spot today we have the Dragon of Death. Ok, so this discovery is a little different from the others on this list because unfortunately this creature is long extinct, but that doesn't mean its discovery isn't absolutely fascinating. This massive prehistoric creature has been dubbed the Dragon of Death as it once hunted prey from the sky around 86 million years ago. With its wings fully extended, this creature is said to have measured a massive 9 meters or 30 feet from one wingtip to the other. If that wasn't enough, it is also said that this species is as tall as a giraffe, so in just size alone this creature is absolutely terrifying. While scientists believe that this creature spent most of its time on the ground, they also believe that it may have been one of the first predators to use its wings to hunt prey as it lived and flew in a time before the evolution of birds. In our number 1 spot today we have new nematodes. Back in September of 2019, a wholesale tarantula breeder, which for a second let's just talk about how that sounds like the worst job in the history of jobs, anyway, this guy contacted a parasitologist named Adler Dillman because there was a mysterious infection that was harming some of his tarantulas and he needed help figuring out what it was. The specimens who were sent for testing were found to have an odd white mass around their mouth area. This led to Adler recognizing these as nematodes. It is said that prior to this, scientists in Europe did identify the first nematodes found on tarantulas, but the research only examined the worms themselves and not the worms as found on the spiders. Adler was able to see this gap in the research and fill it in with some frightening information. Once infected by these worms, tarantulas will begin to exhibit strange behaviors. They will do things like walking around on their tiptoes, they won't eat, and the appendages that control their fangs will stop working. Tarantulas apparently don't need to eat a lot, so it may take a while, but this will eventually prove to be fatal and the spider will starve to death as a result of these newly discovered worms. While we understand the effects, at this point in time what's left to understand is how these parasites are actually able to change the tarantula tarantula's behavior. Also, the scientific name of these guys is named after Jeff Daniels because of the fact that his character in the 1990 film Arachnophobia saves a town from a deadly infestation of spiders. So who said that scientists don't have a sense of humor? Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you next time. Bye!